Hey guys, this is Tom again from Elevation Every Weekend. I uh, want to bring you another uh, quick two minute tip uh, for mountain biking. And here is today's topic. It's the cheap $1 toothbrush. I'll show you how to use it. All right guys, uh, here's the toothbrush. Again, I get these for like a dollar. You can get them pretty much any store carries this type of thing. Uh, got the Surly Pugs up on my bike stand. Um, even though it is a fat bike and I certainly use it for snow riding, um, I do ride it all year round. And just this couple, uh, last week I've ridden it a couple times. Uh, here in Colorado, it's been dry and dusty. Uh, typically I use dry lube on all my bikes. Um, except for this bike, I will switch to wet lube, uh, which is better uh, for repelling water. So when I'm fat biking, it's better for this. Um, but recently it's been, uh, been using dry lube on it. It's been a while since I've thoroughly cleaned the drivetrain. Um, but I do like almost pretty much after every ride, I like to take my bike and it only takes a literally just like a minute, hit it with the toothbrush just to keep everything clean, uh, keep most of the dirt and grime from building up on it. Um, if you have ever noticed, if you ride your bike for a while and you haven't thoroughly cleaned it, you'll start to see gunk uh, building up on the sprockets um, and the derailleur and, and you know, uh, all throughout the chain. So one of the quick ways to prevent that in my uh, experience is I just get a quick tooth, uh, cheap toothbrush and just give it a quick hit. So usually I will just spin it through the cassette. Like that, I'll usually hit the sprockets real good from both sides. And it only takes a second to do this. So, you know, I'm just taking the dust off. Um, so it's, it's not, you know, it's not filthy or greasy. Um, you can only get so much off, but it's a good way just to keep it from accumulating over after multiple rides. Uh, and then I'll hit the chain and I'll hit both sides and then I'll hit it on the bottom and I'll hit it on the top. Usually I'm not too worried about the, uh, the front. I pretty much always ride this bike uh, in the big ring, so it's not a, it's not a huge concern. Um, and then I'll just take, take the toothbrush and just kind of run it over uh, everything. And, you know, just kind of, again, this bike is filthy, um, but just kind of keep everything reasonably clean and it just keeps things from building up over time being a, a bigger mess. Uh, so that's a quick tip. Um, I do it all the time. It's uh, worked well for me. Uh, my drive trains uh, seem to last well. You'd still need to be on top of that and chain wear and things like that over time, especially if you rack up uh, any decent mileage. But it's just a quick tip and a quick easy thing uh, to keep things clean and shifting well and smooth um, uh, between those actual times where you actually get in there and really do a thorough and proper chain cleaning and lubrication. Uh, hope this helps and I'll look out for the next one soon.